Good morning, guys. Good morning. You know, even though it looks like my life is all rainbows and swimming pools, it's in shambles. And there's so many things I need to fix. First, my motorbike seat is still ripped from you know, weeks ago. This wasn't damaged yesterday. It almost seems like it's a different seat. And I'm afraid next time it rains, you know, soggy, so I have to fix that. And I watched my gold watch that I worked so hard for, it's been broken for probably a year now. Nobody was able to fix it. And then all my clothes are dirty. So let's start with the laundry and then let's try to fix all this other stuff. And also my bank account, my Thai bank account, which I've had for years now has been locked since COVID. So for three years, I haven't been able to access my money. But let's start with the laundry. I think this will be the easiest. So I gotta get that fixed. Here's my laundry all hanging up. I actually really enjoy watching laundry dry for some reason. And I almost thought I lost my other pair of IKEA socks that I just bought, but I'm glad I got it. Let's go. All right, let's go to the bank. Let's go to the cell phone store. Let's sort out my life. All right, first stop is Bangkok Bank, which should be the easiest because it's actually my third time here. I had to change my number because it's been so many years, I don't have that number anymore. And I had to change my branch because my branch might actually been out of business during COVID. And then now I'm finally gonna be able to hopefully activate my card so I can use like the scan feature. It's like a QR payment system. It's kind of cool, I'll show you. Let's go inside first. Sorry, car. Yeah. Sorry, car. Alright guys, we tried it like four times and it didn't work. And then she gave up and said come back another day with your bank book and your passport. I was like, oh god. And thankfully I just tried it one more time without her and it seemed like it went through. So let's uh let's see if it works now. Guys Fourth time to travel, it finally worked. Uh, I set up my banking app now, so I've access to the money. And there's a really cool feature called scanning. 
It's like a QR code payment that's really popular in Asia. I'll show it to you when I get lunch. And I'm gonna go in here for lunch, some coffee, and to get my SIM card. Next to my, oh, by the way, right next to my awesome bike. This is a nice wave. Look at this. We'll see like that. Right. I'm tempted to get some food first, but I kind of want to get everything done before I break my fast. Not to San Francisco, guys. I think I need to be one more forward down. That's where all the computer stuff is. And then maybe I'll pop in one of these coffee shops and do a little work. So for my phone, I had True. But I think I want, I mean, uh, AIS. But I think I want to get True for my hotspot, guys. I ended up buying one of these, which is like a little portable hotspot. Uh, because I've been using my phone, and I don't know why. This Airbnb that I'm staying at doesn't have Wi-Fi. Uh, a lot of the really cheap ones in Thai and Thompson just don't come with Wi-Fi, even though Wi-Fi is so cheap in Thailand. It's just this weird part of the city, uh, the country. Like in Chiang Mai, every, everywhere has, has Wi-Fi included. But anyways, it hasn't been a big deal because I can just hop up for my phone, unfortunately. When you hot spot through your phone for like four hours, it gets super hot, it kills the battery. And I figured, you know what? I'm gonna be here for another month and a half. Let me just buy one of these, it's 15 bucks, and I'm gonna get a second SIM card for it. So that's gonna true. I think it might be slightly cheaper than AIS, but either way, it's gonna have two different services in case one is uh, in bad reception, if that makes sense. Alright guys, I waited like 15 minutes. It's uh, not really going anywhere. So I think I'm gonna go get some coffee, chill out, maybe check out. I'm just gonna say yes, and then come back later. So I randomly walked into this supermarket. Maybe get some water, and maybe like some ginger tea or something. I almost never drink coffee at home. Yeah. I'm gonna force myself to go out every day because I don't like seeing out drink coffee, but I do like tea. This is ginger stuff. I love this ginger tea. You have to find the one without sugar though, because all of them are just almost all sugar. This one's good. Guys, I'm fading fast. I need some coffee or some food in me. But Sunset Coffee Roasters is right upstairs. I heard it's good, but I can see it. It doesn't look like there's any like place to sit, but let's go check it out. Otherwise, my goal is need to go to Starbucks. I just have a view of the Eiffel Tower there. Cafe Amazon is the worst one. That's a good one. Okay, that's fine. Let's sit here. Let's see what they got. So you have all these beans. I chose the Ethiopian one, which was there. They grind it right here and they make you a coffee with basically whatever you want. I hate their packaging. I think it looks so ugly, but it's awesome that they have so much selection. So that's, they give you a little card. You can see tasting notes. Very, very light. It almost tastes like a little bit too watery. There's no caramel on top at all. They'll try a different bean next time. That's what happens. 
Let's check on our Wi-Fi and get here in the mall. Uh, it's dropping. Good. Yeah, sorry. Right. Let's check the upload speed, guys. Must have one. Yep, that's alright, 30-30. You know, that was actually a pretty decent place to sit and work for an hour or so. Uh, good coffee. I had my shirt on so I'm not freezing cold in this mall. Uh, I'll do it again. Try a different, a different roast next time maybe. By the way, look at these bathrooms here. Uh, every single floor has a different theme. This one is like a Italian pizzeria themed bathroom. So we have a Vespa here. Just to make sure you guys are inside without uh, disturbing anyone. But yeah, look at this, guys. How funny is that? This is a freaking ba public bathroom. I guess it's the Italy floor. Ciao, Bella. Time to go to Tokyo via the Golden Gate Bridge. Is that Tokyo Bridge? That has to be the Golden Gate Bridge. But now, yeah, now you can see the uh, the Japanese theme everywhere. How funny is that? <laughs> I mentioned how much I love this mall. It's like you know, great food, uh, lots of like so many shops, and lots of stuff that's not expensive. It's like 290 baht each, like 10 bucks each. They have, you know, kind of like a little bit of everything. It's entertaining, it's nice design, it's not pretentious. Yeah, Terminal 21, Taya. My favorite mall in the world, guys. It's not the biggest mall in the world, it's not the most luxurious, but. It's just like a really cool place, you know, kids are having fun, cool designs, yeah, all good, you know, and they have a lot of these good restaurants, like, this is a one from Chiang Mai, now it's supposed to be really good, look at this guys, how beautiful is this, like the Johnny Sumo, Okay, I need to go to Italy, back to either this true move, or let's actually check, not AAS, but DTAC. So they have this one, but it's, you, know, you get 100 gigs per month. 15 megabytes a second, up and down my uh, upload. Same, 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 15, 15, okay. So 17, nine, come cup. So that's actually super cheap. For one year, 50 bucks, you can get a hundred, does it say a hundred gigs? Is it, is that total or no? That can't be, hundred gigs per month? Five bucks a month, it's super cheap. Whatever it is, that's a good deal. Come to the mall, don't buy the tourist sim at the airport if you want to save money. Uh, you just have to plan your kind of first travel, right? It's kind of annoying because I know you want Wi Fi as soon as you land, checking the Airbnb and stuff, but it'd almost be worth taking the, <laughs> the taxi straight to the mall, getting the sim, and then checking in. All right, let's see if uh, they'll let me use it. Uh, I need like a SIM, new SIM card for this, this here. My new one, right? Yeah. Okay, but the speed is... Thousand. Yeah, but uh, the throttle of my... Hmm? Throttle of my, is it 1,000, one meg, one mega, uh, one gigabyte up and down? Yes. But like after 30 gig, it, it goes no, slower? No, no, like this for unlimited, not, not... 
Oh, this is the tourist sim. Yeah. The amount if you need to buy more, it's like uh, pay 950 baht mm, after okay. 30 days. Okay. Maybe maximum or 150 or 300. Okay, but unlimited guarantee, yeah? Yes, okay, unlimited. Cool. Oh, you buy this one for 449. Yeah, but I don't want this tourist SIM card, I want a local SIM card. Yes, I know, but first, first, for 8 day package, right? After I, I understand, but I don't want to buy a tourist SIM card. Yeah, no, but this is a true store. Yes, I know, but well, I SIM card and have But have like, only, when, lo only. when local people, they come and buy a SIM card, like, they, you must have it. It's like impossible not to have SIM card. This one, the SIM card is like, for post pay, not e-pay. You have no prepaid SIM cards at all? e can have only this one. Well guys, they said that they can only sell me a tourist SIM card, which is the super expensive overpriced one from the airport. I'm in the official true store in the mall. It's, it's kind of annoying. I'm gonna check I AIS to see if they have a better deal if not, I have to come back and just pay it. Cause Unfortunately, there's not another option for two months. I was saying a year, I think maybe postpaid, maybe cheaper, but it is what it is, guys. Like back in the day, you could just buy a SIM card here. Maybe I could still get it. Yeah. Do you sell SIM cards? No. Okay. I used to be able to buy it everywhere, like every cell phone store. And now, these, I think these guys have a monopoly, guys. J Mart. Sorry, go. One month unlimited, mate. Here at special one. No limit. Oh, Kang. Hi. 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 No, I, uh, my my own five G, four G, okay. Mini. I'm from Mr. Hi. Guys, I'm doing all the groundwork for you. So these guys, they do sell it, but it's like thousand three hundred. And guys, it's not expensive. It's like thirty five, forty dollars. But I just know that in Thailand, it used to be so much cheaper until I think True and AAS kind of just realized that they're a monopoly. They pay, probably paid off some, some people in the government. It was like, don't let anyone else come in. Uh, True bought DTAC, which is the only third operator. So now they have a complete monopoly and they just jacked up the prices for everybody. It's crazy. So let's check a AAS maybe still have something. If not, I'm gonna buy the one year DTAC, even though I'm not gonna be here. Starting off. Um, guys, I found something that's decent. This is uh, 10 megabits up and down, unlimited, 550 baht. So, this is gonna be the best deal. That one right here. All right, so set it up for me. It's about 15 bucks a month. Not the fastest. But it should be okay. The alternative was to pay, what, 35 bucks? Which, you know, isn't that much more. It's like a little bit more than double, but mm -hmm. most of the time I'm in coffee shops anyway, so I just need this to like do a little bit of work here and there, watch uh, YouTube. So I think it'd be okay. Can I try my? Let's try. All right, looks like it's connecting. Let's see what the speed test is for this little pocket Wi-Fi. So unfortunately it's not working, but they're gonna try it with their SIM card. It connects, but there's no internet. So we're trying to troubleshoot now to see if the SIM card is set up to do internet or it's the device, and I bought also the Zada for 15 bucks. Uh, All right, let's see if it works. Okay, good news, we identified the problem. The SIM car is not giving internet. And luckily, I'm still at the AES store, so they can fix that here. Okay, I think she found the problem, so let's check it again. Success, guys. I should just get AIS. Uh, I had this idea to have one 
owned with AAS and one with a different company. Just so if I ever did have reception uh, with one, I couldn't go to the other. But that turned out to be an uh, epic fail. But anyways, uh, somehow it all works. And I got a good price. Uh, 15 bucks a month for 10 megabytes up and down. And look, we even have this uh, Leaning Tower of Pisa. And it'll stop. Oh, not leaning that much. And hopefully it's finding time to eat some food for hunger. Screw through, guys. And it's 2 p.m. I can finally have breakfast now. Breaking my fast after everything is done. Or almost everything, guys. I still need to go fix my watch and I need to get my seat repaired. It's gonna be a long day, guys. Let's eat, it's an energy. stuff guys All right. yeah. so this one has been pretty successful so far I got my bank card finally working I got my uh, little pocket Wi-Fi working now we will repair my watch and then hopefully repair my bike seat Repaired. I've had this for about 10 years now. I bought it when I first started making money and finally uh, it's giving out. It looks like a pretty good shop. I actually thought about just buying a new one, but these are too small for a wrist. I wanted that 42 millimeter. These are way bigger. That I don't like, but yeah, it's cool seeing these masters at work. There's another guy right next door as well. This guy working here. Let's take a look what they have. Good news, master. Made it work. Oh, oh. what was the problem? Only oh, battery. Yeah. That's it. Oh, easy. <laughs> That's why citizens are so good. I had this uh, 10 years already. I wear it every day. <laughs> Woke up. Well, guys, that was the easiest repair of my life. That was 125 only, $3.50. And it's, the thing is, I actually went to replace my battery in Ukraine. This is a quartz uh, watch, so maybe it'll be like three, four years. You change the battery, and it's like a very simple process. But for some reason, like, I think I went to two different places, and they both said, oh, no, it's not the battery, it's something else. But here in Thailand, we're just like, really good watches and watch these professional watch stores. They like tinkered a few things, they change the battery, like yeah it works. So good. I'm so happy. Watch my, my video. I bought this when I uh, became a Thai millionaire when I saved my first 30 grand. So it means a lot to me so I'm happy it works again. Let's work I've had this for 10 years. 10 years? Nine years. Almost 10 years. This whole area I'm in compared to uh, where I'm living, it's so different. It's so busy, guys. So I'm meeting some guy for dinner. got home. This is my laundry being uh, hung up. I wanted to show you this. It's the first time I've actually seen people on the tennis court. I can't really see them behind the trees, but there's a couple playing there. Alright guys, so today I'm at a place called Treescape. It's supposed to be one of the really good cafes here in this area that was a little bit of a drive but i guess not too bad 
hope it's worth it. Nice huge door for this. Beautiful. Beautiful inside. Sweaty cup. Where are you gonna sit? Right here. Alright guys, here's the Micrano. No uh, head, what do you call it? This is cute, a little sugar water. And let's check the upload speed. Oh my God, that's a great download, but if upload could be anywhere near that, I'd be very happy. Woohoo, guys. Welcome to Treescape. Most importantly, let's check the coffee. Very smooth. There was no um, crema at all, but it's good coffee. Here's my lunch, guys. I have a Australian beef red curry with a duck egg, little kachka egg. That's why it's all orange. I'm looking at dive trips. I don't know if I'm gonna do a liverboard or, or not, but it'd be cool. That, the food is pretty good, the coffee is pretty good, but really the setting is really nice. Uh, super fast internet, comfortable, airy, nice design, like not too cold. I found my new favorite cafe, guys. So, I think I'm gonna be here every day. I think I'm gonna stop, stop messing around with everywhere else. My new routine, every morning I'm just gonna wake up, go straight to the ocean. Uh, if anything, I'm just gonna leave my, my phone at home. Or maybe I'll, I'll bring it just so I can listen to music when I work out. But yeah, I want to just work out every morning, go for a swim. That way I can clear my mind, uh, get a little fitness in, and then, you know, come here with my laptop, work for a few hours, eat lunch either here or somewhere else, and then I'll have the rest of the day to just, you know, do something else. But today, this has been a really good routine, guys. I've been trying to find my rhythm here. I, honestly, I didn't like this area a lot. I was almost thinking about just like abandoning it and moving somewhere else because all the coffee shops I've found so far, even all the restaurants, I don't like any of them, to be honest. But finally, I found something good. My original plan was just gonna go to Terminal 21 every day, but it seems a bit weird just to get out of the mall three times a day. <laughs> so guys, I, drop, I stop at this local shop. I'm gonna repair my seats and then wash in my car or my my scooter. All right, there you guys have it. Freshly walked, washed bike. I thought about asking to repair some of it more, but I don't think it's worth it to be honest. Just gotta wait for the seat to be done, and we're all set. So guys, we went across the street, I bought some fried uh, banana stuff. Hey, all these guys, and I'm on a habit, I don't know if you guys can tell. This is the best way to wait for my car to be repaired, or my, 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 my bike to be repaired ever. I feel like I'm not even in Bataya. I feel like I'm on some island somewhere, besides the traffic. This guy too. See you. Bye bye. Good luck. So he said I can take a look in the farm and eat some bananas. So it's all organic out there. It's kind of cool to see it because we're in the middle of uh, Northern Patia. We're not far from like the mall. <laughs> One thing I really liked about living on the islands, whether it was Kotel or Kolanta or even Phuket, there was little crops of farm everywhere because they grow a lot of the, the stuff here. Uh, here, I mean, well, definitely in Bangkok, there's nothing, right? But even in like Chiang Mai, like you never really see like farms in like near the city at all. But in Jomtian, even where I am in Northern Pattaya, 
like it's you stuff these little pieces of a uh, of nature. It's kind of nice, guys. Right? Uh, except for this. This I don't like that much. Ow, ow, ow. 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 <laughs> Alright, it looks like after about an hour, my seat is repaired. Sadi ka. Oh! Soy. Mak. Beautiful. And you can see how easy it is to unscrew this. It's like two screws and then someone probably just popped a knife to this that's probably how they replaced my uh stole my seat that's 400 baht to replace 12 bucks an hour of my time oh well it's actually just 400 baht to replace so it's not, not that much money it's just you know kind of a waste of time i drove to like three different places to ask them to do it uh, I even tried to get a red suit, so I think, yeah, if I'm gonna do a new one, I might as well get a different color, but we'll be back in. So, here we go, guys. Brand new seat. An hour of my time. I'm driving around, and uh, 400 baht. Not too bad. Ciao, looks. This fits in here. Oh, that's great, guys. Nice big trunk. Beautiful. I hope nobody messes with this again, but it's really nice. I think they replaced this whole piece actually. Hey Johnny, I guess this is your favorite one. One-eyed dog. <laughs> he's so happy. Yes, he's happy, happy. I'm walking with girls. <laughs>